dispersal. Th the endocrine system consists of discrete individual glands and tissues that produce and secrete chemical messengers called hormones. Hormones enter the bloodstream for dispersal throughout the body. They exert effects only on specific cells called target cells that possess receptors for them. For simplicity, the endocrine glands and tissues that are common to both males and females are shown only on the female figure. Hormones are produced by endocrine glands. They are also produced by endocrine cells located in organs that have non-endocrine function. We refer to these as endocrine tissues. They include the brain, heart, kidney, and gastrointestinal tract. Endocrine cells may be diffusely located, for example, in the stomach and intestines, or may be found in clusters like the neurons of the hypothalamus. To continue your study, click the name of an endocrine tissue. We have seen that the pituitary gland has two major lobes, and we have reviewed the glandular tissue of the anterior lobe on the previous page. Here, we will review the posterior lobe and the endocrine function of the ventral hypothalamus. We will study the pituitary in detail in Topic 4. Click on the posterior pituitary to briefly review the targets and functions of its hormones. The posterior lobe of the pituitary gland is neural tissue that releases hormones produced by neurons in the hypothalamus. The hormones travel down the axons of the hypothalamic neurons and are released from axon terminals into the general circulation. The peptide hormones, oxytocin and vasopressin, also called antidiuretic hormone AD. DH, are produced by separate neurons located in the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei. Click the paraventricular or supraoptic nucleus to continue. In females, oxytocin stimulates uterine contractions during labor and promotes milk release or letdown from the breasts. Functions in the male are uncertain. Vasopressin controls water reabsorption in the kidney and thereby participates in controlling water balance, blood volume, and blood pressure. Click the ventral hypothalamus to continue. Neurons of the ventral hypothalamus produce hormones that enter a special vascular system. From the capillaries in the hypothalamus, they enter the hypophyseal portal vessels that deliver them to capillary beds of the anterior pituitary. Hormones exit easily there. Click the anterior lobe of the pituitary to review the ventral hypothalamic hormones. All but one of the ventral hypothalamic hormones are peptides. They stimulate or inhibit release of the anterior pituitary hormones, and their names reflect their actions. Click each image as it flashes to review a ventral hypothalamic hormone. Thyrotropin-releasing hormone stimulates secretion of thyroid-stimulating hormone, or thyrotropin. Recall that TSH acts on the thyroid gland to stimulate secretion of thyroid hormone. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone stimulates secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone. and luteinizing hormone. Together called the gonadotropins in adults of both sexes. Recall that FSH and LH stimulate maturation of the gametes and production of the reproductive hormones. Corticotropin releasing hormone stimulates 
its secretion of adrenocorticotropic hormone or corticotropin. Recall that ACTH stimulates secretion of glucocorticoids and other hormones of the adrenal cortex. Two hormones regulate growth hormone. Growth hormone releasing hormones stimulate secretion and growth hormone inhibiting hormone also All somatostatin inhibits secretion. Recall that growth hormone stimulates growth and energy metabolism. The major hormone that regulates secretion of prolactin is the catecholamine dopamine, also called prolactin inhibiting hormone. Dopamine inhibits the Secretion of prolactin. Several factors called prolactin releasing factors cause secretion of prolactin. The identity of these factors is uncertain, although thyrotropin releasing hormone may be one. Prolactin is different from the other anterior pituitary hormones because it is normally inhibited by the hypothalamus. Specialized muscle cells in the atria of the heart secrete the hormone atrial natriuretic peptide. Click the enlarged view of the heart to review the target and functions of A&P. Atrial natriuretic peptide causes the kidneys to increase excretion of sodium. It participates in the control of salt balance and thereby contributes to control of blood volume and blood pressure. The organs of the gastrointestinal tract produce five peptide hormones that regulate the function of the tract. The hormones are produced by specific endocrine cells that are interspersed in the lining of the tract. The stomach produces the peptide gastrin. Click the enlarged view of the stomach to review the targets and functions of gastrin. Gastrin is produced by G cells in the pyloric antrum of the stomach. Remember that although the GI hormones are produced in the lining of the GI tract, they enter the bloodstream to be transported to their target organs. Gastrin stimulates hydrochloric acid secretion in the stomach and stimulates growth of the gastric mucosa. The proximal portion of the small intestine, including duodenum and jejunum, Dunum produces four hormones. Polycystokinin, cretin, motility, and glucose and an insulinotropic peptide. Click the enlarged segment of intestine to begin the review of their targets and functions. Click the pancreatic duct to review CCK. CCK is produced by eye cells. It causes the gallbladder to contract, thereby moving bile into the small intestine. the exocrine pancreas to produce digestive enzymes that move into the small intestine and growth of the exocrine pancreas and mucosa of the gallbladder. Click the liver to review secretin. Secretin is produced by S cells.
It causes both the liver and the exocrine pancreas to produce bicarbonate that moves into the small intestine. Bicarbonate neutralizes the acidic chyme that comes from the stomach. Because of this action, secretin is called nature's antacid. Secretin also stimulates growth of the exocrine pancreas. Click the pancreas to review GIP. In the presence of glucose, GIP stimulates release of insulin by the endocrine pancreas. Click the small intestine to review motilin. Motilin is released about every 90 minutes during times of fasting. It stimulates production of a migrating peristaltic contraction called the interdigestive migrating myoelectric complex that acts to sweep the contents of the small intestine along toward the terminal ileum. The kidney produces the peptide hormone, erythropoietin, and the ster hormone citriol click the enlarged kidney to review the targets and functions of the renal hormones click the flashing image to review a renal hormone erythropoietin stimulates bone marrow to increase production of red blood cells or erythrocytes Recall from the previous page that parathyroid hormone promotes the final conversion of vitamin D to its active form, the steroid hormone calcitriol, in the kidney. Calcitriol increases uptake of calcium from the intestine. Here's a summary of what we've covered. We have reviewed the well-established endocrine glands and endocrine tissues of the body. We have learned about the well-understood hormones produced by these glands and tissues. We have identified the target tissues for each hormone and reviewed a simplified function for each hormone.